everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and if you are new here, hi! Um, and if you're not, um, and you've been here before, welcome back, thanks for stopping back by. I did something right one of the last times that you watched my channel. Um, so you're going to notice, A, that the camera is a little bit different. Huge shout out to Amazon, I was having a lot of issues with the other camera that I purchased, and so they, I like returned it, and we, you know, we got it all straightened around, I got a new camera, it's great, great prices, they were super helpful. So huge shout to them, because they were were awesome. So I am shooting with a different camera. I feel like my lighting and everything is a little better. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited. But today's video is all about swatching till you be dropping. Okay, people like we got this huge box. And if you follow me on Snapchat or on Instagram, you would know because that's where things are popping first before they be popping on my channel. You follow me? Do you follow all of this? It's a little hard to follow this because I'm really tired. But I went through, I just had like a brain malfunction, I got so excited. I went through on both of those and I did like a little mini woo woo, I think it was mainly on Instagram, and I and I showed everybody like what came in and I said that on my channel, which is here, which is where you guys are right now, um, I said, <laughs> so tired, I said that I would be doing a swatch until you be dropping video where we're gonna show you everything that was in the box. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably should, it is seeking underscore, how that? Seeking underscore Alexandria, um, and I think it's on Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat is Megamind Page, which totally different time in my life, people. Totally different time in my life, and you can't change those names, so pick your name wisely, okay? <laughs> but anyways, let's kind of maybe hop into this video. I'm going to be putting some swatches on my hand, zooming you guys in, letting you see some colors of all the stuff that I got. I got a little bit of everything, you guys. Like, I am not kidding when I say that, like... We are packing to the gills over here as I choke myself to death. Like, there is so much. I got, like, a million shadows. They had, like, this weird... I don't even know if you'd call it, like, a shadow release or something, but they had a ton of new, um, like, uh, I think they're called shocker shadows or something. Yeah, super shock shadows, but they had a ton of these that were, like, new on the front page, and they were featured, and they had a bunch of awesome sales. I think I paid, like, $3 a piece for some of these, and I was like... Your girl can afford three dollars a piece for a really good shadow. So like we're gonna swatch it, see what we think, and I'll let you guys kind of know what I think and give you some first impressions. Whew, whew. Let's get into some of the first swatches after we dance for just a second. Gotta get it out of your system before the video starts. Let's swatch. We're gonna start top to bottom, guys. The top yellow shade is right here. It is the Super Shock Shadow Heat. Very nice, shiny sheen. Next one is a little iridescent, kind of hard to see there, the one below the yellow, but it is in the, the shade Alchemy. Blue shade, Ibiza. The brown shade is On the Rocks. This light shimmer shade right here is Koosh. What a great name. Lastly, the green one is Flower Shop. So pretty. Okay, guys, those were the Super Shock shadows. And again, they I don't know if these were like new colors. I feel like they were because they were on the feature of the front of the page. But oh my gosh, you guys, they all have anyone that has used these color pop shadows before. And I don't know if it's like all Super Shock shadows that are like this. I've used a couple in the past and they have such like a cushy like almost squishy wet feeling to them and I can't even express to you the pigmentation on these. I mean a lot of these swatches were could have been done in like one swipe and gotten the same result. I just did like two swipes to make sure that the light from the different lights that I have and stuff didn't diffuse the color because I really wanted you guys to get an idea of the color payoff. As always in like all my videos I apologize for the glare bouncing off my glasses but you and I both know that if I can't see this disastrous little video, this is what this is going to be. It's going to be a disaster. Just like that sentence I just tried to form, it'll be that disastrous. Let's move on. Okay, guys, next we are going in with their press shadows. They come in these little containers, and they're the ones that go in the Z-Packs. First up is this hot pink shade. We're working down the hand again. We have Sandbar. Best Coast Scenario. Get it? Best Coast. <laughs> I like that. That's gorgeous. Paper Tiger, for sure. And note to self is actually these bottom two swatches. I know what you must be thinking. Why were the bottom two the same color? Oh, uh, I, Color Pop, I think, decided to send me two of the same shadow, which is funny because they actually did the same thing with the color Kelp from the Super Shockers. Or Super, yeah, Super Shockers. I was right. So. 
I'm not exactly sure what's up with that. That's the second thing in my order that they, instead of sending me what I ordered, they sent me something else. But that's okay, because it's a beautiful shade, and I'll use it. Um, with these colors, I kind of wanted to focus on mainly like a few transition shades, and then I wanted a couple pops of color, hence the hot pink. Um, couple things to note about these. These things are so creamy, pigmented. Like, I swatched them. There was a little bit of kick up just from like rubbing my finger in the pan, but for what they swatch and just how pure these things swatch, holy crap. Um, I, and these, in case anyone's curious how like, they're like, how do you handle these tiny little pigments? Um, these are actually meant to go in something called a Z palette. There, it's like a magnetic palette where you kind of create your own color palette, essentially. Um, they're super great for that. I actually got one in one of my past BoxyCharm, um, boxes that they sent me, but I can't find it at the moment, and I was going to put these all in it and kind of show you, but we're just gonna, like, imagine that I had not lost it. And then we're gonna move on to the next set of swatches! Woo -woo. Cruising along, cruising along. Apparently I didn't get that out of my system. Let's roll. Let's hop over now to the, um, Stole the Show Super Shock Cheek Shadow, which I believe is like a highlighter, and hop over to the, what is this? This was the Done Deal. It's like the packaging it comes in, the cover, I guess. And then the side-by-side -side blush and highlight set, you guys. We're gonna jump over, give you a good swatch of those. Ooh, yeah. Okay, guys, what you are seeing here is actually backwards because I screwed it up, but, oh, no, it's not. So this pink blush right here is right here on my hand. And then right next to it, oh gosh, that gorgeous shiny Hammett mo yep. I get so excited I can't even talk. It is that gorgeous right there, that highlighter. Is that not just like beautiful? Am I the only one that just dies when they see a beautiful reflective highlighter? And then under those, I went ahead and I put the Stole the Show Super Shock Highlighter right there. Oh my gosh. It's that, oh, is that not like just beautiful? I just die. I just like peed a little, oh my gosh. Okay, not really, but like if I did, I just keep going forever. Stole the show, people. Stole the show. Yes, it did, girl. Yes, it did. Next, we are going in with the lippy pencils, the eyeliner, <laughs> and the brows, guys. So it looks like I picked up two cream gel liner. Whoa. I picked up two cream gel eyeliners. I picked up a lippy pencil, just like a spare one, because you can't have enough lippy pencil liner filament diggies going on. I think that's what this is. And I picked up the brow pencil. So we are going to swatch these next and let you know, or I'm going to let you know, because you're not really here, but you kind of here, because we want to make you as here as we can possibly make you here. See what I'm saying? Let's do some swatching. Woo! Up first, we have these uh, two cream eyeliners. The first one is kind of like a metallic brown. And the second one down is like a matte black. The brown one is in shade Show Me, and then the black one is in shade No Shame. For all the right reasons, girlfriend. Ooh, I love that matte black. It's actually went on, they both went on super creamy. Ooh, and that brown one is so reflective. <laughs> I like shiny things. We also picked up the Lippy Pencil in Aquarius, which is this little fella right here. And it's just like a really pretty kind of mauve pink nude. I mean, the standard for what's really hot right now in the world. And it went on also like a dream. Really nice matte pigment. Super happy. Super happy. Last but not least, we swatched this brow pencil right here. And I picked this up in the shade Bangin' Brunette because heller, heller. Did I just say that out loud? Stop. Anyways, it went on really creamy, nice texture to it. And you guys, what's my rule? That came with a spoolie, y'all. It came with a spoolie. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. I love me a good spoolie. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. That's probably not a good angle for anybody. Whoa, whoa. I just looked in the mirror up close. Oh my God, I look like crap, you guys. So if you end up seeing an up close shot of my makeup, just like disregard. Next swatch we're going into is the ColourPop in, nope, out and about. Can't read, so that's good. Um, out and about, it has Viper, Times Square, and Barracuda in it. And these are the three shades. Um, these two out here are the Ultra Matte Lip, and then the one in the middle is actually an Ultra Satin. 
So these are them on my hands. The two, as you can tell, that I did them just, you know, like this. Actually, it'd be like this. But anyways, the two on the on either side are actually drying down into a really nice matte finish. And then the one in the middle is the satin. So again, um, what is it here? Top to bottom, we are Viper. The one on the middle is Barracuda. And the one on the bottom is Times Square. So pretty. Very creamy texture, very nice consistency. Overall, really nice formula. Um, I will say that there's a lot, I should probably at least like duck down so you guys can see my face, that way I don't have to keep adjusting the camera. Whoa, that's annoying. Um, anyways, there has been a little bit of like, I don't wanna say like a debate, but there has been some talk of people feeling like the ultra matte um, lipsticks, which would be like the top and bottom too, the ones that dry down, that they do dry down like a little too much and they dry out your lips and stuff. And I, I kind of feel like I see where they're coming from because like, yes, do they dry out? Yes. Do they dry your lips? Yes. But I feel like a, that's just what like liquid matte liquid lipsticks do. Like you shouldn't be putting one on if you don't anticipate it drying out your lips even a little and they're cheaper. So like, I feel like for what you pay and what you get, you're getting a pretty decent value for, you know, for the prices. I mean, and uh, you guys are obviously more than welcome. You guys can go on the ColourPop website. You can see how much this stuff costs. And it's very, very, like, in my opinion, money friendly. Um, definitely, like, would run, like, drugstore you know, pricing type um, stuff. And I feel like the quality of the stuff is actually really there. So something to consider is that, like, if you're super, super sensitive to the drying effect that matte liquid lipsticks can have, maybe better to steer away from these ones. Personally, I am pretty sensitive to it and it hasn't bothered me too much. So, I mean, that's something to say. I also am the type of person though that like, I wear mine for like, you know, three to four hours. When I go to lunch, I wipe it off because I hate the idea of like eating my lipstick. It just, it gets inside my head and I'm just like, I can't do it. I can't. Whew. So I don't do it, but you know, some people it doesn't bother. And then after lunch, I usually reapply, but that's just me. Um, I mean, not everybody's like that. Some people want to know that they can go, you know, 10 hours or 8 hours or whatever, and their lipstick won't budge. Um, if that's kind of the route that you're wanting, I would definitely suggest like a higher end one. I have been having a lot of success lately with the Jeffree Star ones, which there will be a video on my channel here in the next couple of weeks, um, kind of going over his brand and the stuff that I love and all that because I have been loving him. But that's besides the point. Let's jump in to the trio that I bought. I picked up the Can't Stop, Won't Stop bundle from them um, and then on the back it kind of tells you what you get you end up with these three and I will go through them um, from this way going over so I don't know if that's left to right or right to left for you guys I can't even tell anymore new camera I can't tell if it's mirror or not mirror I don't know but anyways this way to that way you have bad habit ultra matte lip as you can see it kind of dried down it hasn't completely dried down my swatches are usually a little too big for them to dry down as quick as I need them to can't help it. Love a big swatch. What can I say? I like big swatches and I cannot lie. Continuing. The next one is um, Bad Habit Lippy Pencil. So they actually named the both the matte liquid lipstick and the pencil uh, Bad Habit, which can I just say real quick, I really appreciate because I get so irritated when I'm like shopping online and I cannot figure out like what, because sometimes the color swatches online are not true to like what they would be in real life. And I'm like, I can't tell what's gonna match without being, you know, like in front of it. And so I love that they were just like, hey, bad habit and bad habit, guess what? They match. And I'm over here going, praise be to God. Then, 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 go page. Um, and then the last item is mirror, mirror lippy sticks, which is this line right here. And it like completely matches you guys. And can I also say that their lippy sticks is one of these where it's like, like kind of the angle, and let me tell you something about this. I have never used one of their lippy sticks before. It's just like the, you know, basic cream consistency, regular lipstick formula. And I'm telling you, I swatched this, that is one line, and it was the most, like, creamy swipe. This would, this rivaled, like, and I haven't worn it yet, obviously. So the swipe that I put on my hand rivaled, like, some of my most expensive base regular lipsticks. It was fantastic. Super creamy. Again, can't speak for the wear or any of that. I'm sure that at the end of the month, when there may or may not be like a favorites video, you will know if I liked it because it'll probably be in that video. And then if I don't, it'll be in the video that's like, I hate you. 
I hate your life, get out of my world. But as of right now, it's kind of love at first swipe over here. So let's move on. Okay, and for the last swatches of the day, um, Color Pop, I'm sorry, what? Color Pop took it upon themselves to send me all of these freebies. Now, I'm not gonna lie and be like, no, that had no impact on my purchasing of these products. But like it might have, the fact that they sent me one, two, three, four, five free little um, ultra satin lippies and I had to double check and make sure that's what they were. But yeah, they sent me all of these guys. And they're just like tiny little samples. Yes, I know they're smaller, but these are so great for just like popping. Like if you're going to say a wedding or something and you need to just like pop one, you've only got one of those little obnoxious purses that like you can barely fit like an eyelash in. These are great for that. You just like pop one in there, you retouch. They're not matte, so they're not hopefully gonna leave your lips like super nasty, crusty. Um, but I swatched them all and you guys, super, super creamy. And I feel like these would be great for like that kind of a scenario um but yeah let's kind of jump in i'm not gonna do like hold them up individually because we'll be here for like another seven years reality like at least another 45 seconds but like i could have just done it in the time i didn't want to explain it but this is my life so i do what i want okay top to bottom you have london fig prim strip freaking frack and dopey so and those are it's really hard to get like, there you go, that's perfect. Okay, I know they're not going in the right direction, but that's perfect, guys, right there. So the pink obviously starts at the top, and they're just super pretty. Let me give you another close-up of these. Again, they don't dry down. These are not the mattes. These are just the satin lips, and I was just so impressed. And no, this back one down here, this one, it did not bleed. That was just me swatching too close to its little friend over there. And what was it? Dopey just got a little too close to the frickin' the frack, okay? Dopey and frickin' frack. But I really love these shades, you guys. Like, I can't stop looking at them. I have to be honest, I was gonna try and, like, pick a favorite, but, oh, like, those three browns just kill me. If I had to pick one favorite, it would probably be Dopey, which is this last one, and that's just because it has, like, it's that brownish nude, but, like, a hint of the rose in it. Like, like that dark nude with, like, a little splash of, like, a red undertone. I'm crazy for those. I love them. So yeah, that is the free swatches. And I'm like, I'm over here going like, I don't recall ever being upset that someone gave me five little free little satin minis. I don't think I've ever been upset about that. And I don't think I'm gonna start now. Okay. Okay. Holy crap. These are no joke. Guess I'll be skipping arm day this week because you know, don't gotta go to the gym when you just remove the swatches. Good lordy. Three hours later. Swatching, swatching, swatching. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. Um, If you liked it and you like, you know, haul, swatching, and all that kind of stuff, be sure to give me a big ol' thumbs up so I know. And um, you definitely should find me on, like, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I will have the handles in the description bar in case you forgot them because you don't have a photographic memory and you're not living for my information, which we all know you should be. Let's be real. Um, and you know that you're living for the ring light in my glasses. Come on. It's like rule number one. Like, if you wear glasses and you want to do YouTube with a light of any kind, you take them off. What's the first thing I do? I'm like, nah. I can beat these people. I'm gonna leave them on. I got this. I don't know what kind of awkward arm pose that was. That was awkward. That's the end of the video. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that awesome stuff so that the channel grows so we gain momentum. So that way, all the, the pagers of the world... Oh! My gosh, you guys. So in a couple videos ago, I had asked, like, send in, like, some thoughts for what, like, I should call the people that watch me. And I was like, I could call, I'm a geek. I just want to preface my answer by saying this. I could call them Seekers because I'm seeking Alexandria. And Seekers, as in, like, the little thing from Harry Potter, I was like, oh my god. I was really excited. Now, if you guys think that that's completely stupid and you don't want to be called a Seeker, like, whatever. I mean, I guess we don't have to go with that name. But until I get some better suggestions, y'all, I'm gonna go with it. And I'm gonna be like, hey, my little seekers, because I just love that. Like, how do you not? Did I mention I was a geek? Did I mention it? Oh, and by the way, the viewfinder for this camera is over here. So if you see me, like, constantly doing one of these, that's why. I have to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm not coordinated enough not to be, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna cut this off because I could ramble and blamble and blah, 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 blah for, like, the next 10, 10 years. So, which I probably will do till I die because that's how I am. just did it right there whoa have a nice night everybody or day or whatever and I will talk to you guys all later bye so much packaging why did I think this was a good decision in my life because the people they need to see it do do
Doo doo. Doo 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 doo. Probably would be scarier if I took the cap off. A bitty bitty bumba da 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 da. Bitty bitty bumba da 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 da. Bitty 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 bumba. A bitty 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 bumba. Oh yeah, guys, definitely time for some real talk. I just went and played back that footage, and the entire video I am looking over here. So I apologize for that. It'll probably happen like on and off in the next few videos until I get used to it. My other one, the viewfinder was like directly above, and so I am really sorry that you spent the entire video of me making no eye contact with you into your soul. That was creepy. Whatever. I'm really sorry. Um, I'll get better at it. But until then, this is like the for real ending. Okay? Okay. Bye bye now. Bye bye Oh, yeah. Oh, man. This is raw. Okay, I should have set the camera like... 17 feet away you guys my makeup looks awful let's just not look at it keeping in mind by the way that it's been on my face for like over 12 hours now so it just i look like a hot mess i just kept looking in the viewfinder again oh my makeup looks horrible like don't look oh and there's mascara up under my eye that looks great that's good that's awesome it's not think anybody sees me could i be any weirder i don't know i don't think so 